Okay, we're going to factor 5y squared plus 31y minus 28 using the AC method. So first thing, um, it's called the AC method because your polynomials are all in the form, or I'm sorry, these quadratic um, expressions are in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So the constants a and c get multiplied together. So 5 times 28 is 140. Now, of course, there's a, a negative sign here, so it's going to be minus 140. Um, so you can make this little, like, x thing. And what we're trying to do is find um, two numbers that multiply to be negative 140, but add up to be 31. Now, if it has to add up to be um, positive 31, <clears throat> then the larger number must be positive. Um, so we're going to have one negative number, one positive number. That's how you get a negative 140. So for example, um, positive 14 and negative 10 multiply to be <clears throat> negative 140, but they don't add up to be 31. So we're going to erase those. Um, if you really have no idea where to start, then you can always just start, um, like this one's an even number, so you could start with 2, 2 times 70. Um, but if you think about 2 and 70, they're too far apart to ever add up to be 31. Um, so you're, you're looking for numbers that are a little bit closer together, like 14 and 10, um, but maybe not quite that close. So um, let's look at some different numbers that might go into 140. So 140 divided by 8. That doesn't work because you get 17.5. That's not a whole number. Uh, 140, I'm pretty sure this won't work, but I'm going to try it anyway, divided by 9. Nope. We already did 10, so I'm going to try 11, even though I know that won't work. But you might not know that, so it's okay. So what I'm doing on my calculator is I'm just dividing 140 by 11, by 12, by 13. We know, of course, it goes into 14, and that doesn't work, so try 15. Nope. 140 divided by 16. Nope. 140 divided by 17. So it might take you a minute to go through, um, and there's always a chance that nothing will work, in which case the problem, uh, the answer to the problem is it's prime. Um, all right, so 140 in, um, goes into 20, or 20 goes into 140, it'd be 20, positive 20, oops, positive 20 and minus 7. But 20 minus 7 is 13. It's not 31. So that's not it. All right, so we're going to keep going. 140 divided by 21. And we're just going to keep doing that until we find another pair that works. I don't recommend skipping any numbers unless you're positive that it's not going to work. Okay, I found another one. Um, it's 28 and 5. So we, again, we would want the larger number to be positive and negative. So 28 minus 5 is 23. We're getting closer, but those don't actually work either. Remember, they need to add up to 31. All right, 140 divided by 29. 140 divided by 30. 140 divided by 31, 140 divided by 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, I think we found our pair. 35 and 4. And it's going to be a minus 4. So 35 minus 4 is 31. 
All right, that's the hard part. Um, after that, it's just a matter of changing it into a four-term problem and then factoring by grouping. So what happens is this 31y becomes 35y minus 4y. And everything else just comes down. Now take a careful look at this problem. It looks different than the one we were given, but if I combine these terms in the middle, it's really the same. So we're ready to go. We're going to split it up into two problems. Factor the greatest common factor from the first part. So 5y squared plus 35y, I can take a 5y out. And what I'm left with is y plus 7. Now be careful in this second one. Um, you're going to take out the greatest common factor, which is 4. Um, but you want the sign to be the same as um, the one right here that I'm putting an arrow on. So I need to take out a negative 4. So I'm left with y plus 7. Now, since these y plus 7's are the same, we can factor them out. And what I'm left with is 5y minus 4. And don't forget to check it by foiling to make sure that it is the right answer. Um, so just to summarize, it might take you, you're going to multiply the A and the C, these ones I'm circling, um, and the 5 and the negative 28 in this case, and that gets us negative 140, but we want factors of negative 140, meaning things that multiply to be negative 40, also to add up to be B, which is 31. So it might take you a minute to find the 30, like in this case, it, it did take us a few tries to get the 35 and the minus 4, but it wasn't impossible. So don't give up. And most problems aren't quite that difficult to find um, the pair that works. So once you have that pair, you take that middle term and you split it up to have the coefficients of the pair that you found and then factor by grouping. I hope this helps.